eras of the Copenhagen squatter scene then began in the 1980s uh, with something that was called Bizets, which is kind of a Danish abbreviation for Occupy. Um, and that was kind of a, it was a, an, a youth movement um, which got a lot of its inspiration from the Occupy houses which were going on in West Berlin and Zurich and Asadam, um, where young people were taking over also empty standing buildings that were, had been kind of condemned for demolition. And one of the most vibrant houses that came from that 1980s movement is the Youth House, or in Danish you call it Ungdomshuse, um, which made really big international headlines in 2007 when it was evicted. And these two photos here show pictures from the eviction, or actually after the eviction of the Youth House. Um, in the week that the Youth House was evicted, 950 people got arrested in Copenhagen. The neighborhood of Nørrebro, where the house is located, as well as Christianshavn, where Christiania was located, were decreed, they called them something like high security military zones, to the point where all your rights as a normal citizen were just dropped. Anybody could be searched for no reason. Um, people's houses were searched if they were somehow associated with being activists. Um, and they did all of this under the guise of national security and kind of fighting terrorism. Um, so you have this discourse of the squatters as kind of like, you know, challenging the state and challenging national security. Um, and, I mean, the eviction of the youth house, there was many, I think there was over 85 demonstrations in cities worldwide. There was uh, demonstrations, the biggest of which took place in Hamburg and in Berlin, where the Danish consulates and embassies were attacked, where people were demonstrating and there was solidarity demonstrations in autonomous youth centers all over. Um, and the house was eventually evicted today, the empty lot, and I mean there's a whole story that leads up to why it was evicted and everything, but the property was actually bought, and this is like no joke, by a Christian sect who officially claimed that they wanted to buy the house because they saw their message from God to rid the world of these unruly youngsters. You can look it up, it's like unreal. But to this day, the place where the youth house once stood still is empty and no investor is really daring to build anything there. And over the years, um, people that are active in social movements, people from Christiania, people from the People's House, um, have kind of built an urban garden there. There's huge mur murals on the walls that have been taken up and down, uh, Shepherd Ferry, the infamous Obey, you know, uh, muralist, put a big kind of peace dub there, wh after which he was attacked um, in Copenhagen because people were like, we don't want peace, like this is not what this place is for us. Um, today, there's a big kind of a writing that just says Maktvai, which is a play on, uh, the house was located on a street called Yaktvai, kind of like this is the power street, or maybe a certain indication of like the power structures that prevail in the city and kind of determine the urban structures that are there.